Thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak. I, uh, I'm born and raised in Frankfurt, live on 1200 block of Hayward Street, grew up on 1100 Wayman Street. I have my appendix fixed in here in this hospital, and uh, been here with a broken foot in the emergency room. So I've been here many times, and uh, my mother's been in here, and my little brother was born in this hospital. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to be from Frankfurt. It's a great neighborhood. It's got a great business card. It's got great recreation centers. And uh, we need to keep it going forward. Um, I, as he said, I was in office from uh, November 26th of 2007. That was 2006 to uh, January 7th of 2008. I served for 13 months. Even though I was in office, I'm proud of what I accomplished. I called for more adult probation for officers. I made carbon monoxide detectors mandatory. And I revitalized many, many recreation centers, including Gambrel Playground. Uh, when, with Gambrel Playground, it's a great story. Um, at that time, that uh, mayor uh, street was holding up money for the district council people for rec dollars, capital dollars. So uh, he was holding up for three years. What had happened is that when I was in, elected in office, a great thing happened because of Billy Gambrell, all the years he's been around, Herb Smith, Benny Tucker, they started the Frankfurt Chargers in 1967. And uh, the Frankfurt Yellow Jackets, that's the beginning of the, of the uh, Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles, that's the original team. Uh, they, they were looking at, Phil Tuckett was looking to do a show like Extreme Field Makeover. And they, you know, they came to Gambrell Playground and they, they found that in the link with the Philadelphia um, Eagles and the, uh, the Yellow Jackets, like I said, they saw a great story. So what they did is uh, Billy Gambrell contacted me and we uh, got it through the law department. I got a lot of unions involved and a lot of, um, you know, private sector companies to donate money. I'm really proud of that project. After that, um, we had started that project, we were allocated some money from the back money I talked about for capital dollars. So I allocated additional monies to Gambrell Playground. Also, Dead Eye Playground, I went to grade school at St. Joachim's. I learned how to play basketball. I was on St. Joachim's CYO team. I learned how to play basketball on Dead Eye Playground. And uh, at that time, the, the basketball courts the, was holes this big. Um, and I, you know, it wasn't great for the kids. The kids weren't even playing there. So I had those courts remilled. I had the, the concrete sidewalks redone, and I had the baseball diamond recut. Um, I also started a baseball organization because there was no youth sports there for over 20 years. And uh, I named them the Dan I Wiz Kids. And you know, now we're successfully. I'm keep going with that. I'm the president of that organization. We're in the Northeast Peanut League. We have travel teams. Uh, we have a 3v3 basketball league. I know Bobby Dentzer over there, he's a coach for 11-12's travel team. Um, and you know, I didn't do this stuff alone. It's all about a combination of people. The story with Billy Gam with um, Gambrell Playgrounds is about Billy Gambrell collaborating with an elected official. The story of Denai Playgrounds is about collaborating with the neighbors. Um, but you know, and I could go through all the whole district. I know most of you are from Frankfurt, so. But I also put a handball court up at Tui Playground, George Palpano Center at Sali and Bosselton. I helped finish that project of uh, the Northeast Older Adult Center and the Rec Center. And it's the state of the Bar Rec Center. Helped out other playgrounds too, Nelson Playground and whatnot. Frankfurt Business Quarter, I reinstated the special, um, Frankfurt Special Service District, which is a key organization. Um, and they actually wrote about that in the law review. Um, it's being uh, modeled on one of a, a bid that's something to be filed in other cities. Uh, what's so great about that is that they clean the avenue, um, they have uniform trash cans, banners, and now they have safety ambassadors. Tim Wisniewski, he's sitting here tonight, he's the executive director, and it's a good thing. I mean, it's still a struggle, but what it is is, if that didn't exist, it would be even dirtier. And you know, I'm a big um, believer in the broken windows theory, so you know, if you have a broken window in one house, you know, crime's gonna happen. People are gonna store drugs in there, you know, the next house is gonna get broken. So you know, the cleaner a block is, the safer a block is. So I mean, you know, and I could go on and on about Frankfurt. Like I said, it's my heart. And when I was in there for 13 months, I gave a lot to it. Overington Park, the historic wall, I had that redone. I thought that was important. I had, um, like I talked about, Dan I Gambrell Playground, Frankfurt Avenue. Um, there's a lot of, there's a Frankfurt fact sheet that uh, is passed around. You can look at all of my accomplishments within um, the 13 months that I was in council targeted towards Frankfurt. After I left um, council, I continued to do, as I said, with Dan I Playground. And what was great about that, not one year did we ever need city money to get the baseball diamond cut. I had reached, you know, I had the relationship that I garnered through the uh, Gambrell project uh, with the unions, and they, every year they cut the baseball diamond for free to operating engineers. 
and also created a T-ball diamond in the corner where there wasn't one before. So, and we did that without any money. We did it on our own. Um, and once again, I don't want to take credit for everything. It's Bobby Dempster. There's a gorgeous bench there. Now he built that, you know, and it was, you know, it's all about the neighbors and everybody keeping together. But, you know, the reason um, I'm running is because there's too much crime, too few jobs, and too much blood. And I know we can do better. And I know you know you can do better. And if you look at the two candidates that are running for the 7th Council Mad District, I think you'll see a clear difference. You'll see an individual that was in there for 13 months and accomplished a lot and cared about the people. And he was an individual that was real. Gave you the real truth, and that's what it's about. And he wants to help people. And he's somebody that wants to be an elected official to be a public servant, not to be somebody that wants to, <coughs> wants to be served. Okay, the current council person, she's been cited by the ethics committee. She supports people in Israel, elected officials. I don't. If, if families are tightening their belts, so should government. And I vow not to support any elected official, any elected official that's in drop. She's more concerned about center city law firms than neighborhood businesses. She wanted to raise the taxes on neighborhood stores while giving cuts to center city law firms. My name is Danny Savage, and I'm running for city council because I want to make these neighborhoods in the 7th District stronger and better, and I want to make Frankfurt what it used to be, the days when I remembered. I still get my hair cut on Lorenzo. Great business. He's been yeah, there forever. He's a good guy. Good conversations. <laughs> there's a lot of, and there's a lot of still great businesses on Frankfurt Avenue, but we need to get them back more like it used to be. We need to rebuild it, and we need to keep growing together, and we can all do it together. I have my campaign offices. I have a couple of them. I have one at 2218 Glendale. That's in Ronhurst. And I have one opening on Saturday at 4707 Frankfurt Avenue. It's right next to the shop, a barber shop. It's called The Shop. And anybody needs anything, law size posters, stop by. We'll be officially opening there on Saturday. And uh, I look forward to a successful election on May 17th. And I look forward to serving you. Thank you.